What we're gonna make today is one of our favorite Lent desserts. What do you think of when Lent comes around capirotada, right? Well, that's what we're gonna be making today. And some of our ingredients that we have is French baguette. All right. We like this one just because it cuts really nice and looks really pretty when you layer it up. So some of the stuff that you throw in are raisins, peanuts, we have a little container over here, some prunes, some bananas, apples you cut up your french bread and toast it up and then you make a little sauce with some violoncillos and anise and what else Cameron some cinnamon right cinnamon all right well you guys I'm excited to show you how easy 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 this recipe is gonna be so let's jump on into it and Esperanza, aunque te esperará, mi corazón se alanza. One of the first things we're gonna do is cut up this French bread that we got. It's day old bread, and we use that because it's easier to toast. It tastes a lot better. So just cut it in half. Right here. Just do it in half. After we cut these about an inch width, we are going to throw them on the comal, or what do you call it? What are those things called in English? I don't know how to pronounce it. Comal it is, comal it is. I'm sorry. That's all I know it is. So anyways, we're going to throw them on the comal, and we're going to leave them on for maybe a minute or two, just pretty much till they get that nice brown. See those suckers right there? See those suckers? Anyways, we do that so that all the juice and all the sauce that we make for the capirotada gets absorbed, but it doesn't make it too soggy. So we're going to teach you how to layer the capirotada. So first, you're going to layer it nice and neat, nice and even on the bottom layer that's going to be your base layer. Next, you're going to fill it with all the ingredients that you like. For us, we actually are going to add apples. Just sporadically. Next, we're gonna do bananas. And this was, I believe, three bananas that we cut up, and that should be enough for, for one person. Alrighty, so from here, we did the second layer, and now we're going to add our apples. Alrighty, and last but not least, actually, still a lot more. I'm gonna throw bananas. I mean, <laughs> we're throwing raisins in, sorry. And then the cheese. And the cheese, and this is, I don't think we explained it earlier. This is actually Monterey Jack cheese. We like Monterey Jack. It melts really nice, blends everything together, gives it a good consistency, and actually balances out the sweet that's in the. Let's go ahead and do another layer of this good stuff. Just one time. Make sure there's a hole through all of this stuff. I think I'm missing. Okay, there we go. Now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and add some more liquid. But we're not gonna we're gonna make sure not to add too much where the bread is swimming. Just enough to where it's got a good soak. And make sure you feel the bread before you put it in the oven, just so that you know you like that consistency. Now that we're done putting all the liquid in, we're gonna actually cover it with foil. Make sure it's nice and secure. Then we're gonna put it in the oven again for an hour and a half at 350. Table, you can grab it with your hands. So this is how they should come out. This yeah. one right here has the regular sugar, the regular white sugar, and the peanuts and the prunes. This one over here actually omits the peanuts and the prunes, and we actually put in um, the pironcillo instead of the white sugar. Yeah. So let's try it out. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, that's mine. Get away. Now we could cheers. I gotta cheers with somebody. <laughs> no! Oh. 
<laughs> we made a mess. Ready? Cheers. Mm. 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 Hot, but worth it. <laughs> yeah. That's delicious. You can taste the difference in the piloncillo. It's a little more of a caramel flavor. Caramel, caramel, however you say it, whatever. It's great to bake. But it's delicious, though. So, either one, you guys are going to like them both. <laughs> <laughs> That's our dog down there that wants to try the capirio tada too. Yep. Hey guys, so if you like our video, like and subscribe. I'm sorry it wasn't in most of it. But yeah, we're going to link down. I'm so <laughs> if you liked the recipe, we're going to link our full recipe down in the description box below. Our Instagram is going to be there. Uh, comment if you have any recipe ideas that you want us to do. We're more than willing to do them. We're looking forward to hearing back from you guys. Uh, until next time, bye chingonas! Bye! bye.